In this video, I'll be showing you how to use f-strings, a faster way to construct strings in Python that does not involve the use of something like format, percent, or simply adding strings together using the plus sign. Now, without our previous knowledge of f-strings, if we wanted to create a string that said my name is the variable name and I am the variable age years old, these are the three ways we would probably go about doing that. The first way is definitely the most tedious, having to add strings together and then converting our integers into strings so that we can add them in here. And the second way is annoying as well. We have to format with zero, one, keep track of those indexes and then add a dot format at the end of the string. And then lastly, we have this method with the percent signs where we can do percent %s, percent %i, uh, name, age. Now, a much faster way to do this is using f-strings. So what is an f-string? Well, an f-string is simply a string that starts with a lowercase or capital F. Now, the string can obviously be single or double quotation marks. And again, it doesn't matter if it's capital or lowercase. And what we can do is simply type my name is and put any variables or expressions that aren't a string inside of curly braces and this will evaluate it as a string. So my name is Tim and I am, in this case, age years old. Now we can do things like add values in here. So age plus four, age plus five. The values of course don't have to be strings as age is a number and this will work fine. So let me prove it to you by printing ex4 like that. We'll have a look at it now and you can see my name is Tim and I am 19 years old and that does indeed work. So that is how F strings work. They're very useful. You can put them directly inside print statements as well, inside function calls, inside whatever you want. And they just save you a lot of time and avoid kind of this massive doing the percents and the formats and all of that.